Welcome back queens. Today's one product tutorial is featuring Talia Swahid Curly Curl Cream and the Great Detangler. And the reason why I'm showing you guys two products versus one because I actually did use the Great Detangler as a co-wash. As you guys can see here, my hair is freshly washed. And we're going to start on the front section using the Great Detangler. Again, this is a two-in-one product. It can be used as a co-wash and a leave-in conditioner. I love this product because of the amazing slip that it has and also the way that it actually cleanses the hair as a co-wash as well. So we're going to apply the Great Detangler all over this first section. And just a little update real quick, you guys. We did try out a new oil to use as a pre-poo. And we use organic amla oil. And that is like heaven in a bottle, literally. So we're going to continue working this in. I just really want to make sure that every strand of hair is coated with this leave-in conditioner. Because I love, again, the slip, the hydration, the moisture from this product. It is amazing. So we're going to detangle using my Texture Pro Detangler Brush. You guys know I'm obsessed with this tool right now. I've been using it faithfully like the last two to three months. And we're always going to start detangling from the ends and then working our way towards the root. Another reason why I love this tool from Texture Pro is because of the way it actually helps to apply the product onto every strand of hair as you guys can see here in this clip. So it's just a well-rounded tool to use versus whether your hair is wet or dry and so now we're going to start actually creating our section so that way we can create a flat twist you guys so today's tutorial is going to be a flat twist out so starting on the section that is left remaining we are going to actually again apply some more of the great detangler i just want to make sure that my hair has enough hydration for the week now going in with the curly curl cream this is bay this is an actual old product that i used to use when i was transitioning back in november of 2014 and the consistency is very thick but it has a wonderful scent so it's perfect for twist outs and i would highly recommend using it as a wash and go um, curl defining cream and as you guys can see here once I use my detangler brush how the product actually starts to make my hair clump up on itself is just proof within itself as to why I really do love the curly curl cream from Talia Wahid. So starting with one small section again we're going to just start with one and then take your index finger again to wrap that strand around the first strand and you're going to continue this process throughout the rest of your hair you guys. Flat twists are easy once you get it down but everyone does them differently so for me this is how I create my flat twists and I just love the way that the results turn out as long as my hair is fully dried. So again you're going to take the new strand and wrap it around the original strand of hair so that way it can lie flat and you want to make sure that your hair is taut so that way you can make sure that you get the curl definition that you are desiring and then once you get towards the end you're just going to create your two strand twist So this is what it looks like as you guys can see I'm still working on this right side with the edges y'all pray for me but I'm loving the results so far with the flat twist so again you're going to start with one strand and then you're going to slide your right index finger under again to create a new strand to wrap around the original hair strand and remember you want to make sure that you're making sure that your hair is taut and you want to make sure that the hair is actually lying flat as well so that way you can get the desired curl definition that you are aiming for. If your hair isn't lying flat, you will not get that definition that you're looking for. And also too, if your hair isn't fully dry, you won't get that definition that you are looking for as well. Alright, so this is what the first half looks like, you guys. My hair is very shiny and soft to the touch. And so we're going to move on to the left side in the back. So that way I can show you guys how I actually created that flat twist. So taking some more of the Great Detangler 2-in-1 Co-Wash, aka Leave-In Conditioner. I love this stuff, you guys. It's a new holy grail, I think. We're going to make sure that we apply this evenly and detangle using our Det Texture Pro Detangler Brush. And then taking some more of the curly curl cream, we're going to make sure that's applied evenly as well. If your hair is actually still saturated with water, you want to make sure that you work the product in very well because you don't want it to be heavy in some places and then light in others. And then again, we're going to create our flat twist. Start with one initial strand, take the second strand and wrap it around the first strand. And then you're going to continue this process, you guys. 
and then we're just going to work our way all the way into the end and then when you get at the ends you're going to create your two strand twist All right, so that's that flat twist. And then I'm gonna show you guys one more time because I wanna make sure that you got down on how to actually create a flat twist. So start with an initial hair strand, slide your right index finger under that new strand to wrap around the first strand. And then you're gonna continue this process all the way to the ends, making sure that your hair is taut, making sure that your hair is lying flat, and just making sure that you're smoothing the hair along the way. And then this is what it's going to look like, you guys. So I had a total of eight flat twists, and my hair is very soft, it's moisturized, it's shiny, and that's what I really loved about it. And again, um, I did let my hair dry for about a total of almost 24 hours, I believe. And so I'm just going to simply secure my um, flat twist down with a silk scarf for that night and go to bed and just let it do its thing, you guys. The following morning, this is what it looks like. Of course, I am getting ready for work. And I'm just gonna take my scarf off and this is what my hair looks like and I'm so happy that my twists actually remained flat and didn't curl back up on themselves and taking a lightweight oil and applying that onto your hands before taking down your hair will actually help with reducing the amount of frizz that you will have but the key to taking down your flat twist is to find that little piece of hair that's holding the actual two strands of hair together. So even though, yes, you were still wrapping the two strands around each other, you still are going to have a small strand of hair that's actually holding those two strands in place to give you that flat twist effect. So once taking that down, this is what the results look like. You guys know I don't mind frizz. To me, that gives me more volume. Everyone's hair is different, so if you don't like a lot of frizz, make sure that you're applying the product on there evenly and you let your hair dry in an allotted amount of time. So again, just taking your time, you're gonna just take your flat twist down, starting at the ends, unraveling them in the opposite direction, and then again, finding that single strand of hair to take down the flat twist. So once you've taken down all of your flat twists, you guys, I like to separate my hair before actually going in with my pit because sometimes just separating the hair further will give you that desired volume that you're looking for. And then sometimes if you're like me, you like to be a little extra and still go in with the pick. So we're gonna be using my Alpro pick, you guys. I've gotten this from Sally's and I love it. And when I fluff my hair, I always lift my hair and then put the pick in at the roots. So that way I can try to make sure that I'm not disturbing all that curl definition that we worked so hard for the day before. But again, like I stated earlier, I don't really mind the frizz. It, to me, it has more volume to it. And as you guys can see, I'm still continuing to fluff my hair. The bigger the hair, the better the fro. That's how I love it. That's how I like it. But yeah, you guys, it has been a long time since I have done a flat twist out and I love the results, honestly. Again, if you're wanting a more defined look, just make sure that you let your hair dry a little bit longer and just also try to make sure that the product is applied on there evenly as well. 
So you guys just continue to fluff and shape to your desired look. And you guys, that was pretty much it for this one product tutorial. So I hope all of you enjoyed it. If you have any other products that you guys would like to see me use going into the future as a part of my one product tutorial series, please let me know down below in the comment section. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications. And definitely check the description bar for all the products used in this tutorial if you guys would like to try it out as well. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I love each and every one of you and be blessed.